There's a couple tables with an awning, which was paramount for us because literally we got our pizza and it started pouring down rain. So normally I would say, well, this is just putting a damper on things, da da da. But anyway. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Eye to Eye Disney Through Our Eyes. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jessica. It's time for another Disney dining review from our October 2018 trip. This time, we're going to be doing the Boardwalk Pizza Window on the Boardwalk. Just random little window that's over there amongst all the shops and the food and like the other Like literally, stuff. you would miss it if you didn't know it was there. And I almost did on my recent solo trip that I took. I actually have already tried this once before, but I convinced Jessica on a whim to go try this. We had no plans to go to the pizza window yeah. when we were there, but we needed a day of rest and we finally like went and walked down the boardwalk and checked I'm it out. I'm glad we went. It was good. Yeah, it, it was decent. It was a nice, nice experience. I would say that this is one of those things that you don't rush to go do Correct. in terms of a dining experience, but if you're having a leisurely day at the beach club, the yacht club, the boardwalk in, or even the Swan and Dolphin, you just want to go check out the scenery and then maybe grab a bite to eat. It was fun. This is a very solid option. Yep. Just not something that I'm going to run to do. Agreed. So let's talk a little bit about the venue and in terms okay. of everything. There's not much of a venue to talk about. No. Literally, like you said, it's a pizza window. You walk up, that's it. The napkins are outside the window. There's forks maybe outside the window and that's it. Yep. Uh, so strange. It would really put a damper on things in terms of like, well, this is not going to be as, as much fun sitting out here in the rain, but it almost was really nice because it was one of those Florida showers that comes and goes really quickly. So we kind of got to see it change from nice and sunny, and then we're sitting this awning and the rain just starts pouring down, and we could see it out over Crescent Lake right there. And it was so funny watching everybody like run from the rain and trip and fall, and we're just happily under an awning eating our pizza. I would say one of the values of this one is the people watching aspect. Yeah. I, as a Disney frequenter now, have learned the value of people watching, and this is one of those areas I think is really good, especially at night. I know you didn't experience it at night, wa right. eating there and watch people watching, but that's pretty interesting. And I think that's where this concept came from, because they're serving a lot of people who are out partying a little bit mm -hmm. and doing some stuff on the boardwalk. So I think it's supposed to be that quick, I had the munchies late at night type of thing. But hey, it's open all day, and if you want some pizza... You can get a pretty good slice of pizza here. It's a little bit, it's pretty large. It's, I was going to say, not a slice. It's a personal pan pizza, right. but it's like, what, nine nine inches, I think? Ooh, I think it's a little bit larger. Than it I was like. a lot. But it like, it was that weird amount. Not enough that we could have shared one. Right. But too much to each get your own. Right. So, I don't know. It was weird. I, I thought this pizza, for me, was not the type of pizza that I normally like. It was... <laughs> A little bit thin, but you like thin crust. I like thin crust. I did not like this thin crust. Though. This is a little bit greasy on the, on the greasy side for me. I don't know how yours was. Hate we got to two be different... a Debbie Downer, but... But again, we're trying to I give up. Our... I wouldn't eat the food again. I would go back to the place again. How about that? The location, the sightseeing, that was awesome. The pizza was lackluster. But here's the thing, though, is if you want some better than the gift shop pizza at your resort... Maybe. You could run over Is there and it get though? That. I thought so. It's better. Okay, so I got the white pizza, the personal white okay. pizza, which was white sauce, white pizza sauce, um, and mushrooms and bacon. It's one of my favorite pizzas in the world. However, this one was so salty. I think, you know, with bacon, you expect it to be salty, right. but the white sauce itself was incredibly salty, and the almost the crust was really salty too, so... It, it was not awesome. It really wasn't. I would give it a one a one rating. Oh, we're already doing the ratings now. No, no, no. <laughs> not for the whole experience. Just for the pizza, I would rate it a one. I didn't really think you would say that bad on the pizza. Yeah, it was not my favorite. I'm sorry. The I got the pepperoni personal pizza, which again is pretty big. And so it's usually a dollar more because you're getting the toppings with it on there too. Which is so crazy to me that your pizza was more expensive than mine. And mine had mushrooms and bacon and yours literally only had pepperoni. I bet it also had to do with the sauce. It's probably cheaper to make the white sauce than it is. The, I don't know. I'm just trying I don't to figure know. out what that it is here. Uh, but yeah, so we got two personal pizzas. We split a drink. Again, this is another way to, pro tip, save some money. Is if you feel like it, you can say, uh, just share a drink there. And we were, our room was just across Crescent Lake. So if we were really thirsty afterward. Yeah, which I was because my pizza was so salty. <laughs> we can run over there and get a drink too. So pro tip, stay there also. In the general vicinity, 
if you're going to try to save money for this thing too. Uh, so I think that's the general consensus here. Would not go out of our way to get this. If you have the opportunity to go give it a try as well. Um, but that's all we got here. We can talk about a little bit about the rest of the menu items. You can get your cheese pizza, sausage and mushroom pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get a whole pizza too if you want to take it back to your room, uh, which I would wonder how big those actually are. Yeah, I bet they're big. really big. And it's uh, $10 more, so it's got to be pretty substantial. Well, $12 more. Ah, that's true. Yeah, I guess it yeah, depends on which one you get. $12 and $13 more. So. Depends on the one you get. Now, I will say this. These next two items, I'd be interested to try to see if they're any different, if I like them better. Yeah, and so they do have a hoagie sandwich and a meatball sub, but those were more expensive than the pizza. So we yeah. were like, well, we might as well get pizza. And we love pizza. So the other thing was the salads. Um, we were a little disappointed because we're not cultured in the crazy salad world. So they had the um, caprese sure. and the antipasto salad, which... It would have been fine. I just wanted some true, just green salad. And, you know, I don't need all this stuff on it. Yeah, but. it was a little too fancy for me. I have tried the salad before at a previous time, and I can tell you it was too much for me. I am not a yeah. greens person, and I just got it because it was part of my Disney dining plan. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm going to give it a try. It, it, it was fine. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it again. I, again, I'm not a salad person. But if you are, if you're a refined person, then go right ahead <laughs> and do it. We just aren't. We're, you know, from the South. I really Forgive do. Want to, I keep going back to that meatball sub that I really want to try that. And then these mini cannolis. I'm sad we didn't try these things because I I always wanted to try some cannolis. That's our washing machine. So our washing machine is freaking out right now. Wow, that just scared the crap scared. out of me. So, I'm sorry. It's another one of these moments where we like have think someone's breaking in our house while we're shooting. <laughs> that was terrifying. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I might have peed my pants a little bit. All right, okay, sorry. let's start with the mini cannolis. And then there's these uh, mini cannolis. You know, I've tried a cannoli like once or twice in my life. I'd be interested in trying these. Again, we weren't looking to spend and try the full range of stuff here. Yeah, but there we are... were just hungry and it was lunchtime. Right. So from what we tried, we wouldn't rush back to go try that pizza again. But some of these other things, though... I would definitely be interested in trying. And, and obviously, you can get some other beverages and things like that. Um, give, give you a price on what we had. We had $10.99 for my personal pepperoni pizza. Jessica and her white pizza. This sounds boring. White pizza. But it had bacon and mushrooms. Like, two of my favorite foods in the world. Nine ninety nine because nobody wants mushrooms. That's why it's cheaper. And then we wow. shared the regular soda, so uh, it was three ninety nine, bringing our subtotal to twenty four ninety seven for the whole trip, and then twenty six sixty when you add tax in. So, size of pizza, sharing a drink, not a bad deal. No, not we, at all. We didn't go away hungry. We were pretty full afterwards, and then we definitely need to go get something extra to drink after that. Yeah, it was so, yeah, it was salty. so salty. All right, rating system now, like we always like to do. I struggled with something to come up funny wise for this, so I just said seagulls because they're always flying over Crescent Lake. So on there a were seagulls that tried to sit beside us too. That's that is true. You you know you just seem to attract all the bird friends around Disney. Yeah, and I don't like birds. So okay, scale of one to five seagulls. What do you give it? I give it two. I would give it a. I want to give. I really want to give it a three. I wanted to too, but the the pizza I, was just not great. I'm it, sorry. The location is awesome. Yeah. The, the people watching is awesome. The food just was really disappointing, which was unfortunate because I had high hopes. It smelled really good. It, it looked smell, really oh, good. That's a, yeah, it smells really good coming from Boardwalk. And, you know, you've got the bakery over there, too, the ice yeah. creamery over there. It, like, all the smells are great over yeah. there. But when we package it all together, two sounds pretty good for us. Yeah. It may change if we go back and try some other things. So we'll Maybe. see. Maybe. We would like to know from you in the comments section, have you tried the Boardwalk Pizza window and what were your thoughts on it? And even, what would you rate it on a scale of one to five seagulls? What else should they do? If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And that's all we have for you in this edition of I2I, but until we assemble again, may the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye. Review of the Boardwalk. Boardwalk Pizza window. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that was your line. Because a pizza door just doesn't make sense. The things that you laugh at just like astonish oh, me. Like so I'm sitting here in my head and thinking, oh, that's not funny. And then she's like, ah!